สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m e s t a n z a and it's Wednesday March 20th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. Ten people, all of whom are reportedly construction workers, are now facing charges stemming from a brawl at Loma Circle at the northern end of Patong on Tuesday evening. Reports say that the incident took place at about 7:30 p.m., involving two groups of construction workers who actually work for the same employer. Patong police say that the two groups had ongoing arguments over injuries at work, and both were traveling in separate vehicles, shouting at each other on the Patong Beach Road. By the time they reached the roundabout, the Dolphin Circle or Loma Circle, at the northern end of Patong Beach Road, one vehicle collided with another, according to reports, and both groups exited their vehicles for a confrontation that also included weapons. The brawl ensued as both groups physically attacked each other amidst traffic moving around them. And in one video, a man can be seen walking away carrying a tire iron. About 10 people total were involved in the incident. One man was rushed to Patong Hospital with a serious head injury, according to reports. All 10 people were arrested by Patong police and faced charges, though no names were revealed by police nor their charges. For more, visit t h p u k e t n e w s c o m A drunken argument led to the fatal stabbing of a 48-year-old man in Widget. As police say, the hunt is now on for the main suspect. Police were called to the scene at about 11:15 p.m. to a shanty workers' abode on Soi Dep Anuson 4 in Widget, where they discovered the body of 48-year-old Boon Kampan Boon Chu with fatal stab wounds to the neck. Police believe that Boon Chu had been dead for at least eight hours before his body was found, though police did discover the likely murder weapon near the body, a blood-stained fruit knife. Witnesses in the area told police. That the victim had been seen sitting and drinking alcohol with a known gardener in the area, identified as 55-year-old Isara Kun Pochai, about five hours earlier. Isara is now the main suspect, according to police, who was seen often arguing with the victim. Police are now trying to track Isara down. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Car and motorbike rental shops around the island that are operated by foreigners and suspected of using nominee shareholders. They are now in the crosshairs of officials as a crackdown is now underway. The crackdown was launched this week by the Region 8 Police Commander, Police Lieutenant General Surapong Tanomjit, with raids on motorbike and car rental businesses starting in the Mu 7 area of Sri Sutorn. Lieutenant General Surapong stated that there were five such car and motorbike rental businesses under investigation in the area, involving over 1,000 vehicles total, and suspected of using Thai nominee shareholders in setting up the companies to operate the business. Lieutenant General Surapong stated that the companies are set up with the correct proportion of foreign ownership. Then shares are transferred to make the foreigners the majority shareholders, but not in the correct proportion as allowed by Thai law. The crackdown comes amid a similar effort to rein in foreign illegality on the island, in the midst of the Swiss expat Urs f a i r story, who was accused of kicking a Thai doctor in late February at concrete steps in front of his luxury villa. But he kicked off a litany of investigations into not just the land that the luxury villa sits on, but also business operations and ownership involving foreigners on the island. On Tuesday, Lieutenant General Surapong stated that since October 1 s t 614 foreigners had been arrested over the past six months, and 98 of whom had been deported for committing crimes. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Police in Phuket Town raided an illegal gambling den in Ratsada in the northern area of the municipality early this morning and arrested several Russian nationals who were allegedly betting using cryptocurrency, not cash, according to police. Acting on information that there was an illegal gambling den in Ratsada, officers raided the location on Tepkasatri Road in the Mu 6 area of Ratsada near the main branch of the Super Cheap Store. Police arrested one Ukrainian national acting as a dealer and three Russian nationals who were playing poker. The betting chips marked to the value of just over 647,000 baht, and they were seized in the raids. Authorities also seized one professional poker table, three decks of cards, two laptops, and a ledger. The gamblers, according to police, used cryptocurrencies to place bets in order to hide the money used and to avoid it being confiscated by the authorities. 
All suspects were taken to Phuket City Police Station and charged with illegal gambling, while two others were additionally charged with organizing illegal gambling. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. From the arrest of just a handful of foreigners in Phuket at a gambling den, we now turn to a national story in which about 30 Royal Thai police officers are being alleged to have connections in a bribery case to an illegal gambling network that operates online, according to a team of lawyers representing Deputy National Police Chief Surachat Hakpan. The whole thing is in connection with the BNK Master Gambling Network, which went bust last year. But authorities say the company had police officers nationwide on their payroll. On Sunday, a notice was left at the residence of Police General Surachak Hapan, also known as Big Joke, ordering him to appear before authorities on Thursday this week to answer allegations of money laundering related to that gambling network. Not only is Big Joke denying the claims, but on Tuesday, his team of lawyers held a press conference with reporters, alleging that 30 police officers nationwide are suspected of taking kickbacks from the BNK Master Gambling Network. They're also alleging that they checked the available evidence and 34 bank accounts linked to the network and found no connection to Police General Surachat. Also on Tuesday, the criminal court approved arrest warrants for three police officers and a civilian, all suspected of money laundering in connection with BNK Master. Police General Surachat alleges that him being summoned to answer for money laundering in this case is an attempt to discredit him for any future consideration for the post of National Police Chief, as current National Police Chief Police General Torsak Sukvimol is set to retire in September, and Big Joke is the highest-ranking officer rumored to replace him. Earlier today, Police General Sukvimol and Surachat both held a joint press conference at the Royal Thai Police Office headquarters where they announced that all legal cases involving Deputy National Police Chief Surachat Hakpan, or Big Joke, has been handed over to the National Anti-Corruption Commission, the NACC, a neutral organization which they say would prevent any image of conflict. Police General Torsak said he had no conflict with Police General Surachat, who is the senior candidate for the position when Police General Torsak retires on September 30th. For more, visit the link in the description. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Go check them out. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.